This is the Sanlam Mula Money Family Game Show. Each week, two families compete to win 50,000 rand and stand a chance to be in the final to win 500,000 rand. And the ultimate prize, confidence. But for now, here they are. Your game show hosts, Nicolette Mashile and Tyson Gubeni. Hey, Nitty, one for the moolah, two for the show, three to get ready. Let's go, go, go. It's the Sunlam Moolah Money Family Game Show. Welcome to it. Now, by the end of today's episode, one lucky family could be walking away with 50,000 Rand and a ticket straight through to the quarterfinals. Or if they both have a slice of luck, they could be sharing that 50,000 Rand between them. Now, on this show, I never really move alone. I have the one only wealth coach, Niti Wena Financial Bani, Unicolette Mashile. Mate, Butaisen, Kaniti, we know that the Sanna Mula Money Family Game Show is the most exciting way for all of us to learn about our finances. And let's be fair, we could all do with a little bit more confidence when it comes to the Chelete Tarona. But however, the Rena Aritamai Riluani, Renali, and Nazola Kam Talane, who is our financial advisor, Lukono, Otorifa, overall guidance throughout the show. Thank you, Nicolette. Today I'm looking forward to sharing valuable learnings on love and money. Being in a serious relationship requires serious money management. In every episode this season, we are sharing a financial confidence rule. And today's rule is tough money conversations can prevent tough times. There is a lot to share and to learn today. So may the mullah be with you. Back to you, Nicolette. Thank you very much, Zoleka. Indeed, those tough money conversations can really prevent a lot of tough conversations. And I'm hearing a little birdie tell me, Tyson, that one of our families is an engaged couple. Oh, yes, they are. I am absolutely delighted to introduce to you our first team competing. It is Team RBL. Welcome to the show, guys. Tell us more about yourselves. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tyson. My name is Nozenze, and I'm with my fiance. Sure. We come from Johannesburg, South Africa. We stay in Oman and we are so excited to win for our kids and just everybody who's in our lives and to have the wedding of our dreams. Oh, that would be beautiful. The wedding of their dreams and for the kids representing the South of Oman. They are going head to head against the cousin team. It is Team Monacheng. Oh, Bridget Nohumuto. Welcome to the show, guys. Hi, Hello. 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 I'm good, Nijan. So, so hi. Uh, Tyson, this is my cousin Bridget, and I am Komoto, and we're from Pretoria, Shushanguve. And the reason why we're here, we just want to win the money and invest in something different yeah. and our family's property, basically. Absolutely brilliant. We cannot wait to see how you fare. Isoshanguve is in the house. Omonde is in the house. It's all going down, Nicolette. Team RBL, Team Monacheng, the aim of the game is to collect as much mula as you can versus your opponent. But we are going to give you 20,000 mulas each in your portfolio. Oh, how nice oh, yes. that is. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, of course, in our first game, the Moolah Money Mystery, each of our teams are going to be able to accumulate some Moolah, but also they can accumulate insurance policies by winning that fastest fingers first. And then you can actually choose which one do you want to add. Do you want to add Moolah or do you want to add an insurance policy? I can't imagine, Tyson. Mm. If something is to happen to Team RPL, mm. life event on the mountain mm. later on, mm. no insurance policy. Mm. Yeah. That, Nicolette, would be absolutely tragic. So uh, it's, it's something to bear in mind to make sure we go to Imula Ikon. Hey, and maybe I'm a policy nyana, because you never know what will happen on the Mula Money Mountain. And on that note, when it comes to fastest fingers first, although you're going for the right answer, if you hit that buzzer and your answer is incorrect, if it's incorrect, then you lose 2,000 mulas. So be fast, but also be sure. Nicolette? Definitely, you must be sure. And teams, just a quick reminder, those buzzers are only going to come on the moment I'm done reading option C, which is the last answer. Are you ready? Yep. Let's get that first question in. Couples who do what tend to manage their financial future more efficiently, right? Is it couples who have credit cards? That's A. B. Is it couples who play money games? Or C. Is it couples who budget together? C. 
here comes Team Una Heng. They say C, Nicolette. Let's find out. Yes, that is correct. Two budgets together is yes. C. <laughs> All right. Yes. Team Una Heng, what are you going to do? Add some mula or a policy? A policy. We'll definitely start with the policy. Team Una Heng playing it safe, adding a policy to that portfolio, Nicolette. All right. Let's move on to the next question. What is very important when couples plan their financial goals? Is it A, a lawyer, or B, communication, or C, a sense of humor? B. Ah, now so get Team RBL, but Team B. Communication, and it is correct. <laughs> oh, yes, Team RBL. What would you like to do, a policy or that moolah? Insurance. Hey, we're going to add a policy to that portfolio, Nicolette. Let's go to the next question. What can create individual and combined plans for your financial future? Is it A, a debt mediator, B, a machonesa, or C, a financial planner working C. towards a financial future? <laughs> Nango, get team RPL, but to see it is correct. <laughs> so, what would you like to do? Oh, yes, team RPL. Mula. Money. Mula, show <laughs> me the mula, Nicolette. All right, and there comes that mula coming into Team RBL. Let's get the next question going. Your beliefs, actions towards, and feelings about money form your what? They form your A, your money personality, or B, your health, or C, your happiness. A. Oh, oh, team team RPL. RPL. Oh, team RPL. Oh, team RPL. three. And hope A is correct, Nicolette. Yes, indeed it is correct. Team RPL. Will it be a policy or will it be Mula? Mula. Mula, Mula, Mula. Show <laughs> me the Mula. So team RPL is stacking up those Mulas. Hey, Kula Beka Mula. Kula Beka Mali. The portfolio is growing. It is now at 24,000 mulas. And of course, it is the end of round one. The pressure is on. Khubizi, khubizi, khubizi. Hey, khubizi, kushushu, kuyabila. And after the break, we'll be asking our teams to take on another challenge, which is quite a mountainous one, might I add. Team RPL, Team Monaheng, Ubani, Ozongova, yay! We'll find out after the break on the Sunlam Mula Money Family Game Show. Sanlam Rula Money Family Game Show. Hey, today we have Team RPL and Team Monaheng going head to head for that 50,000 Rand and a ticket to the quarterfinal. Everyone at this call, Zabo. Now, Team RBL sitting nice and comfortable on 24,000 mulas and an insurance policy. And Team Monaheng, 20,000 mulas and one insurance policy. Now, we move on to the Mula Money Mountain. Now, it's going to be fastest fingers first once again. And uh, if you hit that buzzer and you get the answer correct, then you unlock a true or false question pack to determine how far you move up the Mula Money Mountain. Mar, Kokomela. Because if you smash the buzzer and your answer is incorrect, then we slash 2,000 mulas. Yes, are we ready to climb up the mountain? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, Nicolette. Nicolette was one of those true or false statements. One of you guys must be the one audibly able to get a choice. All right, let's get the teams ready. Here comes that first question. Shared financial goals can help couples too. A, does it help them to ignore their budget? Or B, does it help them to save together? Or C, does it help them forget about their date? B. Here come TRBL, but it B, Nicolette. All right, and indeed it is correct. It is B to save together. Let's get the true or false coming in. If my partner worries about budgeting, I don't have to. False. Budgeting together is important when extended family commitments become a joint responsibility. True. Spenders, savers, and risk takers are different money personalities. False. Saving for a deposit on a home is a mid-term savings goal. True. When combining our income, we don't have to discuss large purchases. False. All right, that is four correct. That means you're going four spaces up that Mula Mountain. It is oh, wow. a conundrum. conundrum. All right, Team RBL, Conundrum, Mebaraka, Bialo, Litobana, a word on our board. And you got to unscramble that word in five seconds. Mary. What did you uh, say? Mary. Mary. 
Was that in time? Was though? that in time? Oh, totally oh Tim Aribia, no. unfortunately. It didn't come in time. Mm -mm. Nicolette, what does that mean? That means we're going to take 2,000 rulers from your portfolio. Oh, Team Apologies. RBL now currently on 22,000 rulers. Nicolette. All right, let's move on to the next question. If you marry without an antinatural contract, you are automatically married in A, in community of property, B, out of community of property, or C, without approval. A. Here comes again, Team RBL, but A, Nicolette. Is it, in, yes, it is indeed correct. All right, Team RBL, here comes the true or false. Couples can have a joint credit report. True. When married in community of property, we share each other's debt. Getting True. married or being in a serious relationship doesn't require updating my will. False. Sharing our financial dreams helps us to create joint goals. True. Couples can balance family commitments by budgeting. True. All right, that's four moves up the Mula Mountain. Remember, each individual has their own credit report. Let's see where those four moves take you to. And hey. another conundrum. <laughs> so be ready now, Team RBL. The word is going to come in five seconds to unscramble it. Let's get the word. Account. Account. They're going for account. Let's find out if I can. Yes! It account is correct! Is correct. <laughs> well done. That's your 2,000 moolahs back into your portfolio. They bounce straight back to 24,000 moolahs, Nicolette. All right, let's get the next question. What can cover expenses if you or your partner are unable to work? Is it A, short-term insurance, or B, funeral cover, or C, income protection? C. Team RBL on a roll. What is C, Nicolette? Uh, and it is a dead parade. Okay, let's go and get that true or false. Our budget should first cover necessities, not wants. True. Your lifestyle can exceed your income to keep your partner happy. False. A joint bank account can be frozen if one partner dies. True. A wedding ring is a long-term savings goal. False. Regular money dates help you to understand your partner's needs. True. True indeed. Five spaces up the Mula Mountain. Ah, they managed to bounce back in the recent climb. Also, when Johnny Corner Manje, Team RBL, 2,500 moolahs added to that growing portfolio. It is now going up to 26,500 moolahs. All right, we've got another question coming through. Here it is. Saving for an emergency fund is easier when each commits what? When each commits a percentage of their income, that's A, B, when each commits to avoid takeaways, or C, when each commits not to take risks. A. Ah. Monaghan, Tim Monaghan, bouncing back, but A, it is correct. And it is indeed correct, a percentage <laughs> of your income. Here comes your true or false. Debt for a wedding can impact your finances forever. False. Our emergency fund should be easily accessible. True. You can't get married without a prenup. False. We should check our budget at least once a year. True. We should both trust our financial planner. True. All right, that is three up the Mula Mountain. Team Monacheng, when I was at the Mula Mountain. Team Monacheng, when I was at the first check, and it is. Look at that. Four thousand Mulas into your portfolio <laughs> as an investment. Congratulations. And that portfolio grows, goes all the way to 24,000 Mulas. Redemption for Team Monacheng. Hey, Kiri, the further up the mountain we go, the more intense it gets. So let's take a bit of a breather. Let's allow Team RBL and Team to catch their breath a little bit. And when we come back, Uzo Lega is here to drop some financial nuggets of knowledge. So keep it locked to SABC2. We'll be right back after this.
Welcome back to the game that shows you all the moolah. And indeed, our teams have collected some of their moolahs. Right now, we're sitting with Team RBL, sitting on 26,500 moolahs with one insurance policy. And then Team Mona, Kheng Liwana, finally 24,000 <laughs> moolahs and one insurance policy. But of course, we know Gore Zoleka has been watching the show very closely. Asheba Sheba Gore Na, what type of strategies can she give our team she is our financial advisor today. Over to you, Zoleka. I would like to share a few nuggets of knowledge on love and money that could guide you in the next round. Having a will can ensure that your belongings are inherited by the people you care about. Life insurance can ensure that your beneficiaries are financially stable and secure should you pass away. Your matrimonial regime matters. If you are married in community or property, you could be liable for your partner's debt. Couples who forgo the high life to save will live better. Let's get on with our learning. Tyson, back to you. Thank you very much, Zoleka. Absolutely pivotal advice there for our two teams. Now, we're still on the Mula Money Mountain, but this time, instead of fastest fingers first, we're gonna alternate from one team to the other to determine how far you move up the mountain. And uh, because Team Monacheng played most recently, we'll start off with Team RBL. Nicolette. The teams, remember, you have three seconds to make your selection A, B, or C. Let's get that question in. If you die without a valid will, it could mean that your partner, A, your partner inherits nothing, B, your partner inherits half, C, just inherits property. A. A, they've gone with A, let's find out. Yes, A, it is indeed correct. Your partner could inherit nothing. Let's roll the true or false. If married without accrual, all my assets should stay mine. I should update my insurance if my partner drives my car. Being Better financially respond, unfaithful remember? is when I secretly stash money. True. I don't have to plan for retirement if my partner promised to take care of me. False. If a couple budget together, they shouldn't be honest about their finances. False. Three moves up the mountain. Did you guys get a stage fright there? You were like, eh? about that voice? <laughs> Let's go three up the Mula Mountain and see where you land. Team up. RBL, it is oh, 3,000 Mula to the portfolio. That, it was a strategy, Tyson. Yay. Hey. <laughs> All right, let's go to Team Monacheng. It's your question. If I die, life insurance provides my partner with what? Life insurance will provide them, A, with a new savings account, or B, it will provide them with money to pay expenses. Or C, it will provide my partner with a new life policy. All right, she's going with B, money to pay expenses. Yes, indeed, it is correct. There will be a little bit of money for them to be able to pay expenses. Let's get your true or false. If I get divorced, my will changes automatically. False. Premiums can be lower when ensuring your household contents together. True. Caring for family should be about their needs, not wants. True. If we forego the high life now, we can live better later. True. If I marry, I have to update my policy beneficiaries. True. And that is a four up of the Mula Money Mountain. Team Monaheng up the mountain. And it is a, a rainy, rainy day. day, an unforeseen life event. And are you insured is the question. Yes, you are. So you do not lose Mula. You can cash in on that policy. Absolutely fantastic. Let's move on to Team RBL. Full disclosure between partners includes sharing details about A, sharing details about your wants, B, sharing details about your debt and bank balances, or C, sharing details about your furniture and family. B. B, you're going with debt and bank balances. Yes, indeed. Let's get your true or false. We can use our emergency fund for short-term wants. True. We can use apps to help us budget. True. Financial commitment requires ongoing money conversations. True. It's impossible to change our money personalities. False. We can only start saving when we earn more money. False. Right, and that is four up the Mula Money Mountain. Amalakalama. It is 2,500 Mula! <laughs> that portfolio just keeps on growing and growing, Nicolette. It is 33,000 Mulas. It is our time 
And for all of us, Rekoko Umoya, Rilebelele, those scoreboards, because one of our teams right now is going to go through to the quarterfinals. Team RBL, one insurance policy, 33,000 mullers. Team Monaching, no insurance policy, 24,000 mullers. So Team RBL, you got to the we will see you in the quarterfinals, but it is not over. Team Monaheng, you could still have a say here. Now, having gone through to the quarterfinals, you've guaranteed yourself 25,000 rands, but we still have to play for the other 25,000 rands to make it a full 50. Now, this is the Muller money moment. It is another fastest fingers first. If, for example, Team RBL hits the buzzer and gets the question correct, then they walk away with all the 50,000. However, if their answer is incorrect, then Team Monaheng snatches 25,000 Rand and the prize is split. Team Monaheng, siya buwe, organja. Ay, siya buwe. Siya buwe, siya buwe, Nicolette. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, here comes that question for the Mula Money Moment. Jenna's husband, Dave, is a big spender. They have a linked credit card with Jenna and the main account holder. If Dave overspends, it what that the debt gets paid? A will be the liability of both of them. B, will be Dave's liability. Or C, will be Jenna's liability. A. Team Monaheng coming through with A, Nicolette. Liability of both is, are you, are you sure? Yeah. Are you, are you confident? Sure? Yes. yes. Why, why are you saying that one? Because, because they're, they're married. married. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> they got their married. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, does it say? Oh! <laughs> that means Team RBL walks away with 50,000 yes! What an episode that was. Now, don't forget to put in next week. Two more families are going head to head for 50,000 Rand and that ticket straight through to the corner finals to stand a chance to win our grand prize of half a million Rand. And of course, the ultimate prize, which is financial confidence. confidence. Now, if you are in TV land, our weekly competitions that are on our website, there's the Sandler Mula Money Family Game Show website, where you can stand a chance to win some weekly, great weekly prizes. May I also mention from me, Nicolette Mashila? And me, Utaisen Guveni. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week on the Sandlam Mula Money Family Game Show. So yeah, we knew what to expect, but once you're there in the game, <laughs> trust me, it's a different ball game. So yeah. Today's episode is a very great eye-opener for South Africans because yes, tough conversations. We run away from them, but for ordinary South Africans, it is very important to have these type of conversations in order for you to make a difference for you and your future beneficiaries that will come after you. Don't doubt yourself. Just trust your gut. Your gut will always direct you to the right path. There was a time where we had planned that he's gonna answer and the questions came and he didn't answer and I was like, okay. Did you guys get a stage fright there? You were like. Um, it's, it was very nerve wracking. It was nerve wracking? Yeah. I wasn't nervous and right at now, all. Right now I'm like <laughs> shaking inside because I can't believe. It just happened. <laughs>